case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2012, the Minnesota Supreme Court heard the case of State v. Hanks, which revolved around the admissibility of expert testimony on battered woman syndrome in court. Betsy Hanks, who had been convicted of first-degree murder for shooting her partner, Matthew Albert, appealed her conviction. She claimed that the court wrongly excluded evidence of battered woman syndrome, which she argued was relevant to explain her actions and establish the nature of their tumultuous relationship. Albert had allegedly been controlling and disapproving of Hanks's friendship with another man, even attempting to hit him with his car the day before the murder. Hanks initially denied involvement in the crime but later gave conflicting stories about the events leading up to the murder. The state filed a motion to prohibit the expert witness from testifying, leading to Hanks being convicted on both counts of murder. The Minnesota Supreme Court ruled that expert testimony could only be used if it helped the jury understand the evidence or determine a fact in issue. However, in the case of battered woman syndrome, such testimony was admissible only in certain circumstances, such as when a battered woman claims self-defense or when the state seeks to rehabilitate the credibility of a battered woman in the prosecution of her batterer. The court found that Hanks's evidence did not fit within these circumstances and therefore upheld her conviction for first-degree murder. However, the court agreed with Hanks that the lower court had made an error in convicting her of both first-degree and second-degree murder. The Supreme Court ordered the lower court to overturn Hanks's second-degree murder conviction while maintaining her first-degree murder conviction. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 